Ask My Instructor 8.2.21. Find the antiderivative of tangent third power of 6x. Option 1. The first option is going to involve uh, trig identities. The second option is going to re uh, involve using a power reducing formula. The first option is fairly instructive. Recall your Pythagorean identity involving tangent squared. We break tangent to the 3 up into tangent squared times tangent and then use the Pythagorean identity. Distribute the tangent x and break it up into two integrals. So I have two integrals. Let's work on the green one first. This integral is interesting because if we choose u equals secant 6x, then du equals secant 6x tangent 6x, 6dx, and my integral just ends up having the substitution of 1 6 integral of u du. So I do all that work, find the antiderivative, and substitute back. But on the other hand, instead of choosing u equals secant, I could choose u equals tangent. You don't really need to do this part twice, I just thought it was interesting. If I have u be tangent x, then again the integration becomes fairly straightforward, but this time I get tangent squared. So depending on our choice of u, we end up with secant squared or tangent squared. And you might wonder, is that a problem? Uh, not really. The Pythagorean identity, 1 plus tangent squared equals secant squared, shows us how the two are the same answer. So starting with secant squared, I make a substitution, and then after I make that substitution, I've got 1 over 12 plus an arbitrary constant. So you see on this bottom line, at the beginning of the bottom line, I have 1 over 12 plus 1 over 12 tangent squared plus c. Take the 1 over 12 plus an arbitrary constant. So a number plus a, a, a number I I know plus a number I don't know is a number I don't know. So that 1 over 12 can just be absorbed into the arbitrary constant. So it really doesn't matter uh, which answer we choose. They're both correct. However, I I'm going to choose this uh, second one of tangent squared. Alright, so with that choice, I've got the uh, first integral done, and now I need to focus on the second integral. For the second integral, I'm just going to use a basic antiderivative. And this is what I get. So I'm all done. All right. I told you, I promised you there'd be a second option. The second option involves the uh, uh, power reducing formula for tangent. So 
So let u be 6x and du equals 6dx and 1 6th du equals dx and I have rewritten my integral so that it fits my power reducing formula. Alright, so um, let's look at the power reducing formula again. For our problem, n equals 3. So what's that going to look like? If n equals 3, I'll have tangent squared u over 2 minus the integral of tangent, well, let's see, n equals 3, so 3 minus 2 is 1, it would be just tangent. All right, so from here, we use our power reducing formula, and then again, the antiderivative of t tangent is uh, ln of secant, and then make that substitution. And this, we get the exact same answer. All right, well, um, just uh, I hope I didn't confuse you, but I just wanted you to see that there's lots of different ways to doing a problem, and, um, and I have no objection to you using either trig identities or a power-reducing formula. Take care and have a great day.